Today I will again visit Government House and resign as Premier and Member for Mulgrave, effective 5pm tomorrow. We all share our disappointment today that we fell so short of an historic fourth term. Um, wasn't for want of trying, wasn't for want of effort. Mr Brumby's final public act in this building came this afternoon, resigning as leader of the Labor Party. And outgoing Health Minister Daniel Andrews seems almost a sure thing to become Labor leader on Friday morning. I'll put myself forward as a candidate for the leadership on Friday, uh, and if I'm given that great honour, I'll have more to say about it then. And the Victorian Labor Party has held its first caucus meeting since its loss in last weekend's state election. Daniel Andrews takes over the top job from the former Premier John Brumby. I'm an ordinary suburban husband husband and father who's been given extraordinary opportunities. The former health minister and self-confessed golf tragic is determined to be tough in opposition. You'll get no sucking from me, Paul. Hi, I'm Dan Andrews. Like most people, my family lives with the reality of level crossings. If you don't get rid of the gates, you can't run extra train services. But the best result for us is we get the east-west link plus everything else. Well, you only get Labor's plan, Neil, if people vote Labor. Daniel Andrews makes his first speech as the Premier-elect of Victoria. The people of Victoria have today given to us the greatest of gifts. And ladies and gentlemen, we will not let them down. Commentators noted that Andrews failed to mention the East-West Link. Victorian Premier is refusing to build the East-West Link in Melbourne. Premier Daniel Andrews has not been a fan of this project. In fact, uh, when he was first elected as Premier, one of the first things he did was to tear up the contract signed by the Liberals at a cost of $1 billion to the taxpayer. I won't be cancelling or delaying um, the things that people voted for and the things I said I'd do in order to build a project I said I wouldn't. This is effectively a second city loop. Uh, this is five brand new stations. It's a train system and a public transport system in many respects where no timetable is needed. The suburban rail loop will be the biggest public transport project in Australian history. The Premier's pledged $300 million to complete planning and have construction underway by 2022, but he's warned the loop will take decades to complete. I won't be the Premier when this project is finished, uh, but if we are re-elected, uh, I will be the Premier that gets this project started. The people of Victoria have today overwhelmingly endorsed a positive and optimistic plan for our state. <laughs> Victoria will be in lockdown within the next 48 hours. I honestly don't think that they'll be down for two weeks. I think it'll be an extended period. You will no longer be able to leave home or go any further away from your home than a five kilometre radius. Everybody right to go? Uh, I'm not going to chip a bloke for spending some time with his family. That's just a simple... Well, Rachel, you can ask questions. You can ask questions in that way if you, if you choose to. Nine public housing towers in those postcodes will be the subject of a complete lockdown. If walking your local streets is boring, well, being bored is much better than being in intensive care. Because there will be no vaccine in the weeks ahead. Some argue even in the months ahead. Oh, sorry, I probably didn't answer, yeah, I probably didn't answer that when you asked me before. Rachel, the program has been ceased. Intimate partners, who by virtue of the fact that they are intimate partners, their contact is of a different nature. Uh, but uh, that's, I can't quite believe I'm having to explain that. <laughs> but I am, but I'm stopping there. You won't be able to go to the pub because the pub is shut. That doesn't mean you can have all your mates round to home and get on the beers. That's not appropriate. There's no other issues? Very good, thanks very much. <laughs> Premier today sacked Adam Somurek in disgrace after 60 minutes aired damning allegations of corruption and vile backroom behaviour. Mr Somurek was not offered an opportunity to resign.
He's not worthy of an opportunity to resign. He was sacked. It followed explosive claims aired on 60 Minutes and in The Age, alleging the use of taxpayer-funded staff to help stack local party branches. Premier Daniel Andrews is in intensive care tonight with spinal injuries and broken ribs after a serious fall. As I put my foot onto the first step, I knew I was in trouble. I didn't really connect with the step, it just slid straight off. And then all I could hear was just this almighty crunch. Putting his spine to the test with a walk through the Metro Tunnel. Daniel Andrews' return as Premier had all the hallmarks of a re-election campaign. It's finally happened after 263 days collectively. Melbourne has freedom, sort of, after setting a record as the world's most locked down city during the COVID pandemic. On the campaign trail, Daniel Andrews' focus firmly on the future. A re-elected Labor government will invest. But he's been dogged by questions about the past. The January 2013 crash at Blair Gowrie involving then-teenage cyclist Ryan Mooleyman and the family car being driven by Catherine Andrews. The crash last made headlines in 2017, forcing the Premier into an hour-long media grilling where he says he answered every question. I've gone to these matters in great detail and I've got nothing further to add. Yes. Friends, these last few years have been incredibly challenging. This was a one in 100 year event. Because as a community we were not, as some would say, divided. We were instead united in our faith in science and in our faith and care for and in each other. Yes. <laughs> Premier Daniel Andrews has sensationally withdrawn Victoria from hosting the 2026 Commonwealth Games. What's become clear uh, is that the cost of hosting these games in 2026 is not the $2.6 billion which was budgeted and allocated and is sitting, uh, vast, vast majority of which has not been spent, Six to seven billion dollars is well and truly too much for a 12-day sporting event. The very best part of this job is meeting and listening to thousands and thousands of people from every walk of life, from every part of our state, from every background, from every point of view. I will be forever grateful for the honour of leading this very special place.